From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, I'm Andy Moffitt for the Penn State Campus Weather Service taking a look right now at your evening forecast. Some headlines to start out, warm and sunny today. I'll show you how warm it got. Temperatures begin to drop, however, tomorrow and possible snow even tomorrow night. So a big shift in the weather as we head into the weekend. Looking right now though, over Nittany Valley, a beautiful day out there. Really the best day you could ask for in mid-November. A little bit of haze out there, but temperatures in the upper 60s right now. 68 degrees is your temperature here in State College. 10 miles of visibility and calm winds. So just a beautiful, beautiful day out there right now in central Pennsylvania. Taking a look at other areas here in central Pennsylvania, warmer down towards the southwest, Altoona at 71, even Belfont coming in at 71. And as we take a wider look, Philadelphia is the warm spot, 73, actually Erie at 75. So that's even warmer than that. And then cooler off towards the south and the east, Philadelphia right now at 68 and Scranton coming in at 60. So very warm temperatures and we're dealing with just this warm air coming up from the south, but that will change tomorrow. We have this system moving into the area right now, bringing showers and storms even to the St. Louis area, stretching down towards Memphis, and a lot of snow up towards Minneapolis. And as we watch this system progress through the day today and into tomorrow, we can see we'll be dealing with clouds and rain showers just entering the area tomorrow early afternoon, around 1 o'clock, just this band of showers moving into the area. And as we go through the afternoon on Saturday into the overnight hours, this lake effect snow might set up and that could bring us some accumulations here in State College. Right now it definitely looks like the northwestern portions of the state will get a good amount of snow, but here in State College it really depends on how much lake effect banding sets up over our area. And as we go through the day on Sunday into Monday, we can see that this really just tapers off slightly, but we still have that chance of some lake effect snow showers around the area. Now looking at the accumulations, not that much here in State College. Maybe an inch, pops possibly, but really I think we'll stay below an inch here in State College unless we get a really good band of, of lake effect snow to set up. Now up towards the northwest, much higher accumulations around Erie, almost six inches on this one model, and there will be several inches of snow falling in the northwestern portions of the state. As we head further towards the south and east though, Philadelphia really not getting any snow from this storm, maybe a flake or two, but no accumulations. It'll stay too warm down there and they should really just get rain. Now looking at the Penn State and Rutgers football forecast, 46 degrees at the time of kickoff at 8 p.m. in New Jersey, mostly cloudy and just a chance of showers from the same system that we have at this time. Now looking at your forecast for tonight here in State College though, it will be chilly, 40 degrees, mostly clear, but really not as cold as it should be. Lows right now, averages are in the mid 30s, calm wind here tonight. And as we head into the day tomorrow, temperatures falling, we'll briefly get up to 56 degrees or around that number, but we will drop off quickly once that cold front moves through the area. Showers and snow possible in the evening and overnight hours with gusty winds west 10 to 15 miles per hour. And now looking at your seven day forecast, as we get through today, uh, rain and snow showers possible tomorrow and then snow showers once again on Sunday. Clearing out by Monday though and as we look at your long range forecast for Thanksgiving currently looks like a chance of rain showers and about 48 degrees is your forecast. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Andy Moffitt. Thank you and have a great day.